Ang title ko po ngayon is a Lasting Home. Oh, ayan. You know, recently, uh, umuwi po yung aking uh, uh, kapatid. Na, kapatid ko po, tapos yung asawa niya at yung, yung anak po nila, pumalik na po sila sa Abu Dhabi. Uh, bumisita lang po yung kapatid ko rito, then kasi doon po siya nagkatrabaho. At kasama na po niya yung maliit po namin uh, pamangkin. Kasama na po niya yung asawa niya this time. And uh, though they are reunited, Uh, from time to time, it's, uh, you know, may mga ganyan din eh, na when it comes to departure sa buhay po natin, sometimes it's bittersweet, right? Bittersweet, sweet because, you know, sama-sama sila. But kind of uh, nakakalungkot kasi eh, kami may iwan, di ba? So, sa buhay po, ganun. We all know in life that there are times that people need to go on and move with their lives. Our children will grow up, they'll have their own babies, and then life will just go on. And uh, sometimes you kind of wish na sana hindi na lang nag-move on, eh, no? Sana lagi na lang natin kasama ang mga mahal natin sa buhay. And uh, for some of us here po na namatayan na at nawalan ng mahal sa buhay, we know the pain. And, uh, di ba, you know, lalo na pag nawalan ang uh, mahal na buhay, alam natin na sa langit na masaya siya, masaya tayo, but somehow nakakalungtot pa rin. And, uh, and you know, these kinds of things, uh, When life strikes you and uh, we realize these things, sabi mo, saan sa tayo kukuha ng pag-asa at ng sagot sa ating mga kalungkutan? Ano pong encouragement ang meron po ang sinasabi ang Biblia when it comes to these kinds of realities? Well, for those who believe in Jesus, we have a promise and that is uh, what we're going to take a look at and that is a lasting home. And uh, yun yung meron po ang isang mananampalataya na one day, ang lahat po ng mga nagpalataya will spend their eternity sa langit. There will be a grand reunion there because of what Christ has done at lahat po ng mga nagpalataya kay Kristo forever and ever doon, wala na pong departure. Isn't that great? Isn't that great na lahat ng mga mahal natin sa buhay, hindi natin sila kailangan makita umalis at uh, pupuntahan pa natin sila roon tapos mag, 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 uh, aayos na naman tayo. Kakalungkot yun eh, di ba? But that's life. But uh, the hope that those who believe in Christ has is one day there will be no more tears but there will be a wonderful reunion forever and ever sa langit. That's what we're going to talk about today in the first letter of Peter chapter 1 verse 4. Let's open in prayer. Lord, open our hearts and our minds as we study your word. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Last time, pinag-usapan po natin kung tungkol saan ang letter ni Peter, right? Ang letter po ni Peter is all about Peter writing to the Christians, ng mga napalataya kay Kristo. They weren't called Christians then before. Ang tawag sa kanila is the way. Wala po silang reliyo, wala po silang pangalan. Ang tawag sa kanila, the way. Because sabi ni Jesus, I am the way. And pinoproklama nila that we are the people who follow Jesus. Ang tawag sa kanya is the way. Pinoprosecute po sila ng Roman Empire, right? Ito po yung grand uh, empire-wide persecution. They were being killed, put to death. Lahat po ng ari-arihan nila nawawala. Lahat po ng mga pamilya nila ay nag scatter Kaya sabi po ni Peter sa verse 1, they are aliens and scattered. Mga trabaho po nila, nagka-problema. Lahat po sila uh, ng kabuhayan nila ay kinuha sa kanila and some of them are being put to death. Kaya basahin lang po natin to be reminded of the context that we are taking a look at before we uh, proceed. And here's the chapter and verse na pinag-aralan po natin for the past couple of weeks. Sabi po ni Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who reside as aliens scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia who are chosen. They're talking to their, sa mga tao na following Jesus already. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, by the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to obey Jesus Christ and be sprinkled with His blood. He says to them, May grace and peace be yours in the fullest measure. Sabi ni Peter, Even if you are going through tough times and being discouraged, na po persecute ka, na ihirapan ka sa buhay mong mananampalatayan kay Kristo, remember that even though na alien ka sa mundong ito, you are scattered throughout the world, you are what? Chosen. Sabi doon verse 2, You are chosen according to the foreknowledge of God by the work of the Spirit para sumunod kay Jesus Christ. And that's the encouragement of Peter sa mga tao noon as he writes this letter. But he goes on and continues, he says, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to His great mercy 
has caused us to be born again. Sino daw nag-cause sa isang tao na magkaroon ng bagong buhay? Si God. He has caused people to be born again, magkaroon ng bagong espiritu at buhay because of Jesus Christ. To be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And that's what we talked about last week. Yun po yung isa sa mga blessings ng isang mananampalataya kay Kristo or the blessings of our salvation is number one, verse three, yun po yun, a living hope. Yan. Wait a minute. Okay. Verse three, yun po ang pag-asa, a living hope. Yun po yung sabi ng verse three na meron po ang lahat ng born again. Born again is not a religion, it is a relationship. Born again is being uh, bago pong pagkatao natin. Dati ganito tayo, ngayon ganito na tayo kay Kristo. Ang sabi ni Peter, that's the hope at pag-asa na meron ka at meron ako, na meron tayong buhay na walang hanggang kay Kristo. So that's number one. He said to all those who are going through tough times, we have a what? A living hope. And that was what Peter was talking about in verse 3. One of the blessings of our salvation. Pero pangalawa po, ang sinasabi niya, meron po tayong pangalawang blessings ng kaligtasan. Ano po yung pangalawang blessing ng kaligtasan? Yung po yung verse 4. And it says in verse 4 this, The reason why a person becomes a child of God through Jesus Christ and becomes born again through the power of the Spirit by placing their faith in Christ, one of the reasons is not only for us to have a living hope sa kinabukasan, pero to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, will not fade away, and reserved in heaven for you. Five things that we are going to look at today, kung ano yung lasting home na meron ka at meron ako kay Kristo. One of the reasons is that we may have an inheritance. Ano ba ang isang inheritance? Mana. Right? Ang inheritance ay simple mana. Sino po ba ang nagmamana ng kayamanan sa pamilya? Ang trabahador ba? Ang empleyado ba? Sino? Ang anak, hindi ba? At particularly sa kultura ng unang panahon, and even probably until now, most of the time, ang panganay ang kumukuha ng either biggest part of the inheritance or, or all, all of the inheritance. Kung merong hari, yung prinsipe ang magmamana ng buong kingdom, right? Hindi naman yung second and third day, pag walang panganay, walang anak, minsan yung mga kamag-anak. But the point is this, only children obtain the inheritance from the parents. And only sons and daughters obtain an inheritance or mana sa hari. And yung pong sinasabi ni Peter, if you and I believe in Jesus, then sabi po ni Paul sa Galatians, you are all what? Sons of God through what? Through works? Through attendance in church? No. Through faith in Christ Jesus. So that is scriptural. In other words, whatever our, whatever church we go, let's remember, the church is you and me. Whatever church we go, if we understand this reality, na, yes Lord, you know, dati, attendee lang naman talaga ako eh. Dati, mupunta lang ako. I didn't even know kung saan church ako pupunta. Basta sa akin, hindi ako mahinitan, masarap ang upuan, Paglabas, malapit yung kainan. <laughs> okay na sa akin yun! Di ba? But, I came to realize na hindi naman yun ang basihan ng aking kaligtasan ng kaluluwe. Eh. But what? My faith kung sino si Kristo. And I came to a point na pag-uwi ko ng bahay, Lord, sino ka ba sa buhay ko? Kasi ilang beses na ako dumalapit sa harapan, Lord, patawarin mo, patawarin mo, patawarin mo, patawarin mo, I invite my heart, altar call, iyak-iyak ka, and all of that, lang kap na pinuntahan ko. Pero bakit ganun? Walang nagbabago. So it came to a point na inintindi ko kung ano ba talaga maging anak ng Diyos. And this is basically it. You become a child of God through faith in Jesus Christ. So basically, kung nanampalataya tayo kay Kristo, yes, Lord, I receive you. Then you and I, sabi sa Bible, hindi ko po sabi, anak ng Diyos. And you know, ang isang taong anak ng Diyos will, will be an inheritor, tagapagmana ng kaharian ng Diyos. Yung po yung being a child of God qualifies and entitles you and me for that inheritance na sinasabi ni Peter. Right? Hindi dahil sa ginawa natin, but think about it. Ang galing. Simply because anak ka ng Diyos, you are entitled already. Hello? There's nothing we do that to 
inherit this inheritance? Just being a child of God for what He has done. Mama na mo na yung sinasabi ni Peter, eternal life, and the five things that we're going to look at as a lasting home. Isn't that amazing? Our very status and identity as a child of God through Jesus makes you and me qualified for this inheritance. But on the contrary, non-children are non-inheritors. Dalawa lang po yan. Children are inheritors, non-children are non-inheritors. So let's take a look, okay, sabi ni Peter, if you're a child of God, blessings of our salvation, living hope, and a lasting hope, and not only that, we are going to obtain an inheritance. Now first of all, let's take a look at uh, briefly at kung ano ba itong inheritance, ano ba mamanayan ko, ano ba, isang milyon, bahay at lupa, isang buong island, wow, island din, no? Isang buong island, somewhere in the in Africa. <laughs> Walang kwentang island sa Africa. Init-init kasi nung muna doon. Pero anyway, sabi doon, ano ba itong inheritance na ito? We, we have taken a look at this for, uh, for the past couple of uh, week. Bibilisan lang po natin. We won't take a, uh, uh, we won't uh, dig deep into that. Ano yung inheritance na yun? One of those inheritance is God Himself. Ang mamanahin po ng lahat ng anak ng Diyos through Jesus Christ by faith ay ang Diyos Himself. The presence of God sa buhay mo at buhay ko. Remember that we talked about last time what happened to Adam and Eve nung nagkasala sila, namanay ba agad sila? Hindi. Nabuhay sila 900 plus years, pero ano nawala? Relationship. Nung tinawag sila ng Diyos, Adam and Eve, where are you? Nagtago sila. Naputo lang relationship. But when we become a child of God, that relationship is what? Restored. And in heaven, we will uh, inherit Himself, the very person of the Creator of the universe, when either we die or Christ comes again. Ano po sabi sa Revelation? I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is among men, and He will dwell among them. Sino yung them na yan? Those whom He bought by His blood, Jesus, by, by blood, blood of Jesus Christ. And they shall be His people, and God Himself will be what? Among them. In the same way na nung unang panahon, ang Diyos po ay kasama ng mga Israelita wherever they go, when we become a child of God, He will always be in us already when we also get to heaven. The very presence of God, we will be inheritors of that. Pero hindi lang po yun, pangalawang inheritance na meron ng isang mananampalatayan ni Kristo ay ito, eternal life. That's one of the living hope. Ano po sabi ni Paul kay Titus? So that being justified by His grace, we would be made what? Heirs. Ano yung heirs? Nagapagmana. According to the hope of eternal life. Ano po yung minamana? Simple, malinaw. Buhay na walang hanggan. Pangatlo, ang mamanahin po ng isang mananampalataya ay God's heavenly kingdom. Literal kingdom of Jesus. Sabi ni Lord, then the king will say to those on his right, he's saying about the future, when Christ comes again, the second time, he says, sabi niya, the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed of my father, inherit the what? The kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. When Jesus comes again, he's gonna know who belongs to him. And he's gonna say to them, you, have been chosen, you are blessed of my Father, come inherit my kingdom. Amen. Yung po yung sinasabi ni Lord na one day He will separate the lambs or the sheep from the goat. Ano yung sabihin nun? Mga tupa, because Jesus is the Lord, was the shepherd of our soul, alam niya yung tupa niya at alam niya yung mga kambing. Alam niya yung nagpapanggap at alam niya yung totoo. Amen. And so that was He saying, at yung mga sa mga totoo, and God knows it, we can fake it, but we can fake God. He says to them, you will inherit my kingdom. But not only that, let's continue. So God's heavenly kingdom, eternal life, and God Himself, one of the many inheritance na meron ka at meron ako kay Kristo. Pero, what, what more ang meron tayo tungkol sa yung inheritance niyo, ano po ba yung mga characteristics nito? Okay, tingnan lang po natin. But it's not just that, it's everlasting joy, peace, and perfection na pinapromise po ng Diyos. And by the way, pansinin po ninyo, sabi doon, inheritance, right? Hindi po inheritances. Singular and not plural. Well, hindi ko po yun. Ang mamanahin po, 
is lahat all of the above hindi lang po yung isa at dalawa right for example ang isang taong binago ni Kristo merong fruit of the spirit right ano po yung fruit of the spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness gentleness faithfulness and self control nine but it's not fruits hindi po yun fruits but fruit isa lang po yun ibig sabihin ang meron pong ang taong na bago ni Kristo ay meron pong lahat ng yun pero hindi lahat evident. Some people may be more loving than more being patient. But someday as they grow along, as they come along, as they grow along in Jesus and in the Bible, they become more patient, more self-control. Di ba? Pagkatagal dyan, di ba? Pero ang idea is isa lang yun. In the same way, ganun din po ang inheritance, singular, lahat po ng yun mamanahin ng isang anak ng Diyos through Jesus Christ. But let's take a look at this characteristic of this inheritance, the eternal life, heavenly kingdom, and God Himself. Imperishable. Ano po ibig sabihin ng imperishable? Ibig sabihin po noon ay perfect. Perfecto. Yung word, yung original Greek word na ginamit dyan, ginagamit po yan sa isang bagay na hindi nagalaw ng isang army. Ready ko po yun. Because noong unang panahon, when you go to war, right? Pag kinonquer ng mga army yung isang city, they pillage and they get what they want, right? Natural, pag isang conquering army ka, kukuri mo kung sino mong gustong kunin, kunin mo yung asawa niya, kunin mo yung anak niya, patayin mo kung sino mong patayin, yung ari-ari niya, kunin mo, gawin mong alipin. They had all the freedom they wanted and they had. And one of the things they did is they pillaged or ninakaw at inangkin yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi sa kanila. Right? So, ang isang bagay na hindi, na imperishable, ibig sabihin, hindi kahit kailan nagalaw or magagalaw ng kahit sino man. It is something untouchable, unravaged by an invading army. It is something that will not be broken. It is something that will not be stolen like earthly inheritance, right? Ang pinagkaiba po ng heavenly inheritance sa earthly inheritance, alam po natin yan, earthly inheritance, katulad ng mga damit, kotse, bahay, pera, and stuff, mananakaw at masisira yan. Kaya nga, we take a lot of big, we have a big pain in securing our wealth and our health, doesn't it? Because eventually, pwedeng manakaw yan. That's why we put CCTVs. That's why, we lock our doors because baka may pumasok na ganyan. <laughs> may crowbar, di ba? And that's earthly inheritance whether we like it or not. We can only do so much to secure what we have. But Peter says those who believe in Jesus, their inheritance in heaven will never be touched. It will never be broken like cars that go rust. And like clothes na nagpe-fade, it is perfectly secure in heaven. Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus what? Matthew 6.19 Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth which moth and rust destroy and thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures on heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. Ibig sabihin ba nun, huwag tayong mangarap? Of course not. But Jesus is saying what is eternal, the eternal value and the most important thing that will be everlasting. And we know that in reality, that in life, earthly inheritance are not perfect. They will perish. They can be stolen and they can be broken into. But the inheritance that you and I have sa langit, hindi mananakaw at hindi makawala. Simply because anak ka ng Diyos. Alay, di ba? Pangalawa, uh, not too much on this. Ang inheritance na yon is undefiled. Ano po ibig sabihin ng undefiled? Ito po ay puro. Ito po ay unpolluted, unstained by evil. Ang God Himself, buhay na walang hanggan, God's heavenly kingdom, ang pinaka-karakteristik niyan ay holy and pure and uh, hindi katulad ng mga earthly inheritance sa buhay na ito na makamundo at may bahit ng ating greed and pride at ganyan, di ba? Earthly kingdoms, lahat po yan, kumpara po sa heavenly inheritance, heavenly inheritance is pure and undefined. Not too much on that. 
Pangatlo, ang earthly, ang heavenly inheritance na meron ka at meron ako kay Kristo, not only perfect, not only pure, but pangatlo, it is permanent. It will not what? It will not fade away. Now, ang word po na fade away, ginagamit po yan sa mga bulakla na nagdi-decay at nag-wither, nag-fade. Nakakita naman po siguro tayo ng bulaklak, di ba? Gano'n po katagal ang bulaklak kapag dinalagay sa lamesa? Maximum lifespan po. Fresh flowers from Dangwa. Yan, yeah, promoting Dangwa. <laughs> Sponsor, eh, no? What? One week? Meron ba? At most, di ba? Pero medyo may nalalaglag ng mga petas-petas siya. Lagyan mo na sa tubig para pahabain ng... Uh, lalo pag nagbigay ng special, di ba? Matatagalin pag uyan, di ba? Pero we all know, the weather as... Kahit gano'n po natin katagal itago yan, malalant at malalant yan. And that's the word that Peter used here of being fading away. It is decaying, it is withering like that of a flower. But Peter says, unlike our heavenly kingdom, inheritance in heaven, hindi po nalalanta. Hindi po naluluma katulad ng mga sapatos natin. Hindi po katulad ng, for example, our strength, ang kalakasan po natin, fades in time. Fades in time. Same word. Withers, decays in time. A 90-year-old is not as strong as a 20-year-old because the strength has faded away. Withered, decayed. That's the word. Uh, 20 years, hanggang li ilan ang lifespan ng boksingero? Ha? That normally, natatalo ang boksingero because minsan tumatanda, natatalo sila ng mas batang boxer, di ba? And, and isn't it true that strength fades in time? Same word. It fades in time. Same word din ginamit. The idea is when beauty fades. Ang kagandahan, ang kinis ng kutis fades in time. Ang kulay ng buhok fades in time. My hairline fades, will fade in time and is already fading. <laughs> Because of hot water. Oh, kaya nyo bagos na ako ng hot water. It fades in time. Sabi nga, our teeth will fall off in time. We can only do so much to put dentures on them. Kahit pag-brace mo pa yan, when you reach 100 years old, marupok na po yan. Fades in time. Decays. That's the word. Sabi nga, in time then, it fades. Gravity takes its toll on skin. Yung skin gravity, Diba? Kahit ilang po tayong best magpa, uh, what's that? Yung uh, pagpoderma or something. Gravity will pull our skin right down. Strength fades in time. Beauty fades in time. Like the flowers, they decay. Human memory fades in time. Meron po ba dito may mga na senior moments? Diba? May mga doon tayong pinag-joke-joke natin. But sometimes it's true. Sometimes when we are advanced in age, medyo nahihirapan tayo to come in to, to alala all of them. Because scientifically, it does fade in time. Memory loss in age. Kaya meron po tayong ininom, diba? Memo plus gold. Diba ba yung mga ininom natin, diba? Promotion na naman ulit, diba? Di ba ko bayad dyan, di ba ko bayad dyan. But you see the point, right? Whether we like it or not, Strength, beauty, memory, they fade. And that's what Peter is saying, contrasting the heavenly to earthly inheritance. Even earthly inheritance will fade. Our clothes na minana or mamanahin natin will fade. Yung pants ko, nag-fade na before. Yung pants natin, nag-fade. Yung, have you ever heard the term bacon underwears? Yeah. Bacon underwear? Ano yung bacon underwear? <laughs> Matawas na dyan. Bakit bacon underwear? You know, underwear, di ba? Kapag bago yan, masikip yan, may garter, di ba? Pag, <laughs> Pagkatagalan, sa kakakalaba at kakalondre, ayan, o kakaano, eh lumuluwang. Ha? Pag lumuwang yung garter, ano yung tsura? Bacon. Yan, alam na rin yung galit talaga. Bacon underwears. So, even those things, yun yung word na yun. They decay. They fade. They wither. They are not permanent. But unlike the inheritance that you and I have in heaven, it is what? Permanent. It will not fade away. The heavenly kingdom of God will not fade away. Eternal life will not fade away. God will not fade away. 
the peace and joy and perfection that God has in store sa mga manapang tayo sa langit will not fade away. It is permanent. It doesn't have any diminishing returns. Its value doesn't depreciate. Ang earthly inheritance, ang value what? Nag-depreciate, di ba? Pag bumili po tayo ng kotse paglabas sa kasa, same price pa ba? Of course na. Mura na. Ang isang lupa na binili natin, tapos maganda siya yung value niya, eh binaha. Para sa Marikina, nagbagsaka ng presyo ng lupa. Nag-depreciate. Earthly inheritance. Cars, lands, everything, they depreciate. They fade away. But God says, those people who belong to me, my inheritance to you is permanent. It is perfect, will not be broken and stolen into, hindi mananakaw, hindi mabubulok, hindi mawawala, hindi mababawasan, hindi mababahiran, at hindi mananakaw and it's permanent. Because anak kita. Because by my decree, you become a child of mine through Jesus Christ. So it's permanent, it's pure, and it's imperishable and will not fade away. Pangapat po, pangapat, very quickly, it will not, uh, sorry, next slide, uh, it will not what? Fade away and also it is what? Reserved in heaven for you. So lahat po ng iyo na permanente, na puro, na hindi mananakaw, lahat po yan naka-reserved, kanino? For you. Have you ever nag-reserve kayo ng special reservation seat sa isang restaurant? Diba? Hindi naman po yung binibigay sa iba pag hindi sa'yo nakapangalan eh. Diba? Punta ka rin, what's your name, sir? I've made the reservation, sir. Ah, dito po kayo, guest of honor. How does it feel that you have a reserved seat, a table sa isang restaurant na napakaganda at pinipilahan, pero may reserved seat ka? How does it feel? Feels good. That you're honored. You're special. You're important. And God says, all those who are my child through Jesus, I have all this entire inheritance reserved for you. May pangalan ka na sa iyo lang. Na sa akin lang, na sa atin lang po. It's reserved for us na may listahan po. Kung may guest list sa restaurant, meron pong listahan ng tagapagmana sa langit. And that's what Jesus does. When we believe in Him, our names are written where? In the book of life. In the Lamb's book of life. Sabi sa Revelation, one day in heaven, there will be books open. One book and another book. The question is, sino yung mga pangalan na kalagay nyo? Anybody whose names are not reserved there are cast out into outer darkness. That is scary. That is scary. But nevertheless, that's the hope that we have. You believe in Jesus, walang problema. You have a reservation in heaven. Pangatlo at pa, panglima, and lastly, those inheritance is, uh, which is pure, imperishable, undefiled, will not fade away, reserved for you. Where? Saan po itong reservation na to? Sabi ni Peter, sa langit. Ha? Huh? Sa langit lang? Parang, hindi ko naman ma-experience ngayon yun. Parang, corny naman, di ba? Walang blessing ngayon, walang, ano, walang, walang mana ngayon sa panahon na ito. So, maghihirap lang ba ako throughout these years? Of course not. Two, dalawang sense po yan. Unang sense, technically, technically, follow me on this, ang mana po na lahat na sinabi ni Peter sa mananampalataya ni Kristo, technically, eternal life, God Himself, God's heavenly kingdom, nasa langit. That's where our lasting home is. Doon yung eternal life eh. Doon yung kaharian ng Diyos eh. Doon yung presence of God dwells eh. So technically, it's in heaven. And na makakamit lang po natin kapag tayo ay namatay and we go there or Jesus comes again. Technically speaking, in one sense. Right? But, in another sense, etong mana ito ay ma-experience din natin ngayon. Right? Ulitin ko po yun. Ang mana na yan nasa langit. Pero yung mana na yan ay ma-experience din natin sa oras na ito. You say, what do you mean? What do you mean? How do I experience that? How can this future inheritance become a present reality in my life ngayon? Think about this. Ang presensya ng Diyos sa langit, di ba per same presence sa lupa? Hello? Isn't it na ang presensya ng Diyos sa langit parehong presensya sa lupa? 
Isn't it ang presensya ng Diyos sa langit ay ang same presensya ng Diyos sa buhay mo at sa buhay ko living in us when we have Jesus Christ? Same. So that inheritance there is the same inheritance that we experience today. Isn't eternal life, okay, eternal life, future. But isn't it that eternal life for those who believe in Jesus starts now? When you live now for the future, hindi naman, when you become a child of God, walang katapusan to. Beginning pa lang to, umpisa pa lang to. The first hundred years is not even compared to eternity. Sabi nga po, we can't even comprehend eternity kasi eternity doesn't even have hours and days and months and years and decades. 4,000 years, 7,000 years is not even enough to describe eternity. Starts now. What we have in the future starts now in your life. In my life. Future reality experience in the present reality today. Pangatlo, as I near the end, For example, the kingdom of God. Okay, one of the inheritance kingdom of God. May mamanahin daw po tayo. Nasa future po yun. Yes, in one sense. But, it is also true today that the kingdom of God in the future is experienced today sa buhay ng mga tao. The kingdom of God where Jesus is king in our hearts. Sa isang kaharian at may hari kaninong batas ang nasusunod. Sa kahariyang na isang hari, sino ang sinasamba? Sino ang may kapangyarihan? Sino ang nagdi-decide? In the future, there is an earthly, literal kingdom of Jesus, millennial reign on earth, where the Bible says that the nations will bow and confess what? That Jesus is Lord. He will reign. No, There's no superpower during those times. He will be the superpower. But today, it is experienced in your life and mine. Because for those who come to Christ, He reigns where? In the heart. A future reality experienced in the present as well. So how do I conclude on this? As I end, Peter is simply saying this, you know what? During those times, the Christians suffered. They paid a lot para lang manapal tayo kay Kristo. And that's the point. He was encouraging them. He was encouraging them sa lahat ng pinagdadaanan nila to fix their eyes on the future. To fix their eyes on Jesus. Na meron tayong kayamanan doon at pag-asa sa future. At meron din tayong pag-asa ngayon. And it's wonderful thing na when you look at the Bible, the Bible is all about Jesus. The Old Testament is about Jesus. The New Testament is about Jesus. And you know, this inheritance can only be received through Jesus. What is the message for us today and for the whole world? By God and the Scriptures? This home, that living home, that lasting home, that permanent, pure, imperishable, will not fade away inheritance na nakareserve sa atin, It's free. Ulitin ko po. Lahat ng yun, ang mensahe po sa atin at sa buong mundo ng Biblia ay simple as a reminder. All of those wonderful things is what? Is free. Is free. When was the last time we thank the Lord? Lord, salamat na libre. Alam mo, sarap malibre sa eat all you can, right? Just sarap. Vikings, buffet 101. Four seasons. Sarap, di ba? It's free. Lahang ginawa, inimbita ka lang, may reserved seat ka, privileged ka. And that's God's message and reminder for us. What you have is free. Because you're my child and I love you. Because you're my child and I love you. Simply because I love you and I desire to bless you and I desire to splurge my generosity on you. Ganun kita kamahal eh. Ganun kita kamahal. Dinaanon ko yan para sa inyo. And those who say to Jesus, say yes to Jesus, what? They become included sa list or sa guest list na tagapagmana sa langit. Those who say yes to Christ, yes Lord, when you say that, 
kasama ka sa listahan. And you know what? As I end, isn't that wonderful? Na sa langit, wala na pong pupunta sa ibang bansa. Wala na pong mamamatay. Hindi na po natin kailangan magpaalam sa mga mga maliit na chikitig natin. O hindi natin kailangan dumayo pa sa mga bahay sa buhay natin. Kasi doon, it's a lasting home. Hindi na mawawala. Hindi na mananakaw. It's permanent. And that's the hope that Peter says, you and I have to go forward, live our life with the Lord. And whatever sadness we experience on earth because of separation, in heaven, it's permanent.